hello welcome to my channel oh my gosh is this me posting the second time this year i think so and today we're going to be reacting to the top 10 dark things found inside of animals not only lord knows what you can find inside of an animal apart from its guts it may be digestive food that needs to come out its backside. But other than that, I do not know. So, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like the video. And please comment if there's anything else you would like to... So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. What would you like me to react to next time? And if there's any other video ideas you've got for me, hey, I'm all ears. One thing I lack is ideas. But yeah, let's get into it. Animals are curious little creatures. They just can't help it. Though many try to stick to their respective diets, some stray from the beaten path and try some peculiar kinds of cuisine. Hey everyone, I'm your host, Rachel Fisher, and I'm gonna take you through our top 10 dark things found inside animals. And things get darker as we go, so get ready. Yeah. Starting off at number 10, we have the lady ostrich. By now, I think we figured out that maybe animals wouldn't have so many weird things in their stomachs if we didn't leave so much lying around in the first place. But this ostrich seemed to have a very specific desire to consume all things high fashion. In the 1930s, the London Zoo tried to determine the cause of death when one of their ostriches died. What they found among coins and little screws was a lady's button-up glove and two delicate lace handkerchiefs. Ostriches are known to only consume small things like roots and berries, but to see objects this large was very peculiar. But clearly this bird was ambitious and vets do wonder whether it would have tried to graduate to even bigger articles of clothing. I can't lie, that ostrich did said that I'm, I'm built different. <laughs> that ostrich said I'm Different. Anyway, next. A dress, perhaps? Coming in at number nine, the chicken coop. Now, we've all heard of Florida man does this, Florida man does that. I have not. Well, how about this one? Florida shark swallowed a whole chicken coop. Yep, that's it. A whole chicken coop. It's not such an odd thing to eat chicken, I'll admit. We eat chicken all the time. Fried chicken, roast chicken, chicken stew. It's everywhere. But for a shark to dine on this feathery poultry doesn't paint a logical picture. Somehow, a massive tiger shark got a hold of an entire chicken coop along with the chicken. But how do you get a hold of the chicken coop? Did the chicken coop come to him or did he go to the chicken coop? Did he walk on the land or did he... Did the chicken coop just magically appear? I'm in confusion. Mm. Decided. I can't even begin to wrap my head around on how this would have even happened. Like, how did it get from a farm to the ocean? No one knows. All it That's what I'm saying. First image that popped into my head was like a big massive shark with like human legs walking on land and going, ooh, chickens, but that's not logical. But somehow this hungry guy got a hold of it. One article even said that some of the chickens were still alive when they found the shark. Jesus is real. If that doesn't say Jesus is real, I don't know what is. They were saved by the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I don't know what to believe anymore. Coming in at number eight, put a sock in it or 10. For anyone who's always managed to lose that one sock and have no idea where it went, mm. this is for you. Also, there's a hack to that. Just always buy black socks and you'll never have to match any or like lose your favorite Doctor Who tube sock. I'm still not over it. Anyways, if you have a lovable furry friend in your life, then keep your socks well out of reach. This owner must have left his socks right out in the open because this little puppy, this three-year-old Great Dane, so that don't look for you. Not to, but 44 socks. Huh? Sounds like an urban legend. Nope, it's true. Here's a picture. Imagine going ham on like two <laughs> turkey dinners. That would make you feel as close to how this poor little pupper felt. The dog had to have surgery to have all the socks removed, and the vet was a when she pulled socks. But what was this family doing? Leaving socks about? Were they not in is were the socks not in a drawer? Or were they just laying on the floor? Because if it's laying on the floor, that's your own fault. That's just lack of responsibility. That's just being what's the word? Unorganized. After sock after sock out of this ambitious pupper. There was some good to come out of it though. The vet submitted the x-rays to a competition and won five hundred dollars because it was that extraordinary. You can buy a lot of socks with that. Coming in at number seven, we have 
You the turtle nothing. bag. If you ever got a couple coins from the tooth fairy or found a loony on the ground, you probably put it in something like a piggy bank or an actual bank. It's up to you. Well, this turtle decided to take that responsibility right off people's hands. In Eastern Thailand, tourists used to throw coins in a pond where a sea turtle lived, hoping for some luck. But what they didn't know was that the turtle was eating them. Uh -huh. The story caught attention when after four hour surgery, over 1,000 coins were found inside this 25 year old turtle's stomach. Sadly, uh -huh. Om Sin, or Piggy Bank, as she was nicknamed, died the Tuesday of that same week. I mean, this is definitely not the fault of Om Sin. She shouldn't have been food. eaten I mean, it. Who was she supposed to think that it wasn't food? As we have surely discovered, most animals don't care what they're eating as long as they feel full after. This poor baby was so full of coins that the weight of them cracked her undershell and the nickel from the coins poisoned her. So lessons are learned for humans everywhere we hope. Keep your coins in your pockets or your piggy bank, not in places they don't belong. Who even, okay, wait, I'm sorry. Up. Who even uses coins nowadays? Who, who? Cause not I, I use my phone. I am, I am that Gen Z. Am I even Gen Z or am I Gen, am I Manelial? Millennial. Am I millennial? Yeah, I don't remember the last time I carried cash unless I was paying for gas and electric. Anyway. All right, coming in at number six, a cod getting freaky. Now we know humans are responsible for an overwhelming amount of waste that unfortunately ends up in places it shouldn't be, even objects such as this. When Norwegian fishermen rounded up an 11 pound cod, he got four, far more than he bargained for. Apparently this cod was caught trying to have a little too good of a time. Inside its stomach was a very common sex toy. Uh -huh. I will give you three guesses and one hint. The hint is that this object was brought onto The Bachelor by upcoming Bachelorette Katie this past season. Oh, I don't Due watch to that. Bright color and I don't watch that rubbish. Mm -mm. And, if and if you, you watch, watch that, that rubbish, rubbish, you got time on your hands. The size of the object, the fisherman assumes that the fish thought it was a cephalopod. Since most of these objects are waterproof, mm, something could have set off the vibration settings and caught the cod's attention. But considering the device might have been discarded, uh, thing, I wonder if that's that the case. Messy. Unless someone somehow, somewhere lost it while going for a late night swim. Oh, hell no. So many questions. All right, arriving in at number five, the aspiring knife swallower. Everyone knows that when you get a new puppy, you can't leave them alone for like two seconds or else they'll get into loads of trouble. Leave your shoes unattended, there'll be holes. Leave your homework lying around, well, now you have an excuse to tell your teacher. But this next story is incredible. Not only because I'm a tiny dog like that's supposed to be swallowing knives. And look at you, proud, proud, proud. That's my problem with people nowadays. Look at her. She looks proud. No, 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 no. That's how you know there's something wrong. She's letting her dog swallow knives. I haven't even heard what the dog's doing, but based on that that title, he's swallowing knives. Look at it. It don't look well. He's saying help. This lady is making me eat knives and she don't know it. Come on. It's swallowing knives. How did he even reach the knife? Oh my gosh, that's the second question. How did he even reach the knife? The knife should be on a high kitchen counter unless you're picking up your dog and leaving him on the kitchen counter. No, 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 no. And how did he even pick it up? Obviously with his mouth, but to even regurgitate that down his throat. Oh my... And for you not to realise that you've got knives missing. Make, make that, that make, make sense. sense. Incredible, not only because of what was found in this little guy, but also that she survived. A Staffordshire Bull Terrier named Lexi from Sydney, Australia somehow got an eight inch knife hey! in throat and into her stomach. I mean, hmm. Look at that cute little face. She did that. After 45 minutes at the vets, they were able to remove the knife back up her esophagus. But imagine being that owner. I'm sure they felt a mix of fear, horror, but also an eight inch knife. And stupid. Okay, Lord, forgive me. But still, how do you not know? How do you not see your dog swallow a knife? Adam. Hey. Impressive. Lexi made a full recovery and was diagnosed with a condition called mouth. Sorry. Eight inches as well. Eight inches. Me, I don't even know anything that's eight inches. My phone, let alone, is not even eight inches. What? Hmm. 
exclusion, a condition that made her mouth sore from her teeth pushing through. To relieve the discomfort, puppies often chew on something hard to help the pain. Lexi, apparently being a badass, chose a knife. Okay, coming in at number four, the anaconda didn't, but the python did. Huh? If you're terrified of big snakes, then maybe look away for a second. Given the strange and powerful ability that these creatures have to swallow massive amounts of food, they had to be on this list. Coming in at number five, we have the story of 54-year-old Watiba who was swallowed by a 23-foot long python. Watiba went to go check on her garden, but when she didn't come back, her family went out looking for her. Wait, the wait, only wait. things they found were a few of her- Wait, 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 I'm confused. This, the, the, the snake ate a human. Or a snake ate another snake. Such as her sandals. They soon began their search and no more than 50 yards away did they find a bloated, slithering python. Oh my word. Is that a human in there? Ah. This is why I'm never going to Australia in case or places where snakes like this exist. No. And the Lord is with me, but I can't add, I can't increase my death. No. Guess who they found inside it? fully clothed and intact. Number three, the murdered man. I think everyone after seeing Jaws or binging Shark Week has learned to fear and or love sharks. If you thought they weren't going to be on this list, you thought wrong. I mean, if you prefer not to swim with the sharks in the great open ocean, then I recommend checking them out in an aquarium or on YouTube, whatever suits your fancy. Though aquariums usually tend to carry the milder forms of the predator, such as nurse sharks, one Australian aquarium in the 1930s decided to shock the nation by capturing a tiger shark to put on display. Tiger sharks are notoriously ferocious when it comes to their appetites, and a few days later, they proved that to be true. While an entire group of tourists was watching, the shark vomited up an arm of a man right in front of their eyes. You can imagine the absolute horror and shock the group felt when it was like, oh, oh, like, but it gets worse. A tattoo on the arm prompted an investigation, and it turns out it belonged to a criminal turned informant for the police, Jim Smith. The last they heard was that he had infiltrated a mob and well, I guess the mob found out and they didn't like what they heard. Turns out he was quite literally fed to the sharks. Coming in at number two, though it's been over- Sorry, before we even move on to number two, don't that just remind you of Carol Baskin and that the ex-husband being thrown to the tigers, being thrown to the sharks? Oh my God. I beg one of those, if one of those tigers still has some remains of his body, please regurgitate it because he's, we still don't know where he is. We still don't know. That would be a great second documentary. Do we need to fear Carol Baskin? Do I need to fear Carol Baskin because she could watch this video? I have no idea. Guys, if I don't post another video, <clears throat> please pray for me. <laughs> hundred years since the First World War and decades and centuries for many others, there still remains debris scattered across Europe slash the world in towns that used to be battlefields or trenches. Many people in France, for example, still dig up memorabilia in their back garden to this day. They could be trying to plant their award-winning carrots and ooh, out pops an old army badge. But you do not want to be the person who digs up an old landmine, as some are still waiting for their moment to shine. This next find was the last thing a Chinese fishmonger thought he'd discover when preparing a squid for sale. While gutting a squid with his knife, he suddenly felt it dig into something that really shouldn't have been there. A bomb was found inside the creature and the man jumped back absolutely afraid. Thankfully, the device didn't detonate, but of course, as you should do when you find a bomb, he called the police. What's even more terrifying is that after reviewing it, authorities revealed that the device was active and that it could have detonated at any time. Who's more lucky, the man or the squid? The bomb being relatively small could have the been dropped by a fighter die plane and swept- I'm sorry, the squid was gonna die regardless. The squid was gonna die regardless. The man was the man was blessed, okay? Not lucky, blessed, okay? The fact that he was still alive. My man could have triggered and poof, game over. If I have experience in near near what's it what what do you call those things? Near death experience, my life would just I see the whole world, I see things so differently. Like if I was that fisherman. I'm never going near sea creatures ever again. <laughs> I'm never going near a squid. I'm never going near a shark. I'm never going near even a tuna. Okay. Nah.
Reviewing it, authorities revealed that the device was active and that it could have detonated at any time. Who's more lucky, the man or the squid? The bomb being relatively small could have been dropped by a fighter plane and swept onto the squid's feeding ground. It only being eight inches in length, it could have easily been considered a shrimp or some other kind of a small fish. An hors d'oeuvre for the growing squid. Mmm, so tasty, that shrimp was the bomb. Oh, too there, they said it. You're welcome. Too and too now arriving at number one. A shark in shining armor. Man, guys, this thing just gets stranger. Okay, before we figure out what this shark and shining armor is, um, what runs through your mind? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Actually, that's too long. Three seconds to think about what this shark... Yeah, what about this shark? I don't know. Did it, you know, A shop in shining armor was it was it like a knight you know in suited ready to ready to attack ready to ready ready to defend his nation b did it swallow a chunk of metal or c none of the options i just mentioned i'm betting all my money on c stranger this is one of the absolute strangest things to ever be found in an animal more specifically a tiger shark yes tiger sharks we've revealed a lot of things on this channel but this one this is the one i shake my head at now a lot of people are like sharks only attack humans because they think we're seals on surfboards well what's the excuse for when you find an entire suit of armor inside the stomach of a shark what you're gonna tell me an entire suit of armor looked like a sea lion or a manatee or a squid no it looked like a human and it ate it the whole thing no one knows quite exactly how he got the whole thing in his stomach but this wait he swallowed a human in shining armor oh my gosh we all lost that bet we all lost it i don't care we all lost it i don't, I don't owe you anything, anything that he might have used the whirlpool trick. The whirlpool trick is when a shark circles its prey in order to make it dizzy and disoriented, making it easier for the shark to come around and swallow it whole. They usually only do this when they feel threatened. I don't know how much I believe in this thing. I don't know how a shark can feel threatened by something that's not even half its size. But I'm just thinking about these animals and I'm like, <laughs> why did they exist? <laughs> Um, why do I have to be eventually near one someday? I'm look. I'm I. Mm -hmm. Like, what if one day I go to a zoo and I I'm, I I I, my child wants to hold a snake. What am I gonna tell it? No, it's gonna swallow you whole. I'm not gonna live my life in fear now. I've got Jesus Christ. I I don't need to be worried. I don't need to be worried. No, oh, it's not my it's not my blood pressure that's rising. It's yours. I'm gonna pray about these animals. I think they need prayer. I think I think that yeah, I think they need prayer. Uh, that ain't right. That ain't right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We learned something new today, guys. Who would have thunk? If you enjoyed this, like I said at the beginning, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me react to. As long as I don't get copywritten, we're good. Yeah, just have a great day. Stay blessed. Um, God loves you. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. My gosh.